Hi, John here from Online Business Ambitions, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to start a WordPress site with Bluehost. Now, if you click on any of the Bluehost links on the page you're on, or on my site in general, this is the page on the Bluehost site where you'll end up. And with that being said, this page may look a little different for you depending on when you're watching this video. And that's because Bluehost likes to uh, change up the pictures um, on this page every now and then. So if things look a little different when you go to sign up, don't worry, everything's fine, and everything you learn in this video is still applicable. Okay, so uh, let's get started here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to uh, this uh, WordPress Made Easy uh, side of the screen here, and I'm going to start building. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this Start Building button. And what's going to happen here is it's going to bring us to the plans. And uh, for those of you who are just getting started, and I think that's going to be most of you, really this basic plan is, is all you need. Um, and it's very affordable, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. So here we go. All right, I went ahead and clicked on Select. Uh, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our domain. So I'm going to create a new domain. Um, and by the way, WordPress gives you your domain free for the first year, which is one of the reasons why I, I like to recommend um, uh, uh, Bluehost. So uh, let's go forward with that. So I'm going to try something called our example blog. So let's see if this works. So it's going to search the available domains. I'm going to click on Next. All right, I went ahead and clicked on Next. And uh, OK, it's available. Great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to create my account. Uh, now, as we get down into the, uh, the areas where I'm going to be putting my payment information, I am going to um, block that out just because I don't want the world to see my credit card number. So uh, here we go. So I'll put my name. Last name. All right, that's optional. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, let's go to my address here. And all right, now I'm going to select my state. Again, my apologies. I am blanking this out. And let's see. I don't think that that's required. Um, and then my email address. Okay. Okay, uh, let's zip on down here. So let's take a closer look at this. Uh, let's see, the account plan, right. I want the basic uh, website builder hosting plan, uh, $2.95 for 12 months. That's great, 12 months is fine. Um, let's see, domain registration is free. Let's encrypt SSL is free. And that, that's important. That's what, um, that's what gives that HT, HTTPS uh, secure uh, URL. So that's great that they do that, and it's great that they do that for free. So, okay, moving on to package extras. Um, you know, re you really don't need a lot of this. Uh, a lot of this is just really upsells. So I'm just going to remove this um, domain privacy and protection. Am I sure? Yes, I'm sure. I really don't mind. Turn it off. Uh -huh. All right, code guard basic. I don't need that. I don't need these tools, Microsoft stuff. I don't need this extra uh, site lock thing. Um, okay, great. So now we are down to uh, a nice inexpensive price for uh, a year of hosting. So, very good. All right, so I'm going to move on down to my payment information here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in. <laughs> okay, and of course they need my code, so I'm going to put that in. And then the expiration date for my card. Okay, uh, so here's the terms. Always a good idea to read the terms. And of course, you have to acknowledge that you've read the terms and that you agree to them. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, which I just did, and I'm going to click on Submit. Here we go. Okay, oh, it appears the phone number is required. So let me go ahead and, uh, and I'll put that in. Sorry about that, folks. And let's see if there's any other messages. Nope, okay, I'm going to try to Submit again. Processing. Okay, processing complete. Success. Next, let's create your account. Um, so this is where you pick a username and a password so that you can log in. 
Um, so I am going to go ahead and uh, create my password. So here we go. All right. So it's I already figured out the, uh, the domain name. So I'm just going to create a password right here. Okay, looks good. Um, I'm going to agree to their privacy policy. I'm going to create my account. All right, create account. My account is in the process of being created. Please wait a few minutes to set your password. Okay, so uh, looks like that's been uh, done. So I'm going to create the account again, see what happens. Oh, no, it's not letting me. Okay, I gave it a few more minutes. Let's see what happens. Click on create account again. Your account is ready to go. Now you can log in. Okay, let's go to my login. So I clicked on this button and I'm going to my login. And uh, yep, this is my example blog. Uh, perfect, so let's go ahead, go ahead and enter in my password here. All right, and I'm gonna log in. Clicked on login. All right, world, time to take you on. Okay, apparently it's the beginning of my adventure. So I'm going to move along here and I'm going to create my website. So I went ahead and clicked on that. Um, so let's see, when it comes to building your site, how much help do you want? Uh, let's see, no help needed, a little help, uh, set up a consultation, or I can just maybe skip this step. Um, creating my, building my site. I think I'm just going to skip this step. Let's, let's get crazy here. All right, gone ahead. All right, what's the primary purpose of my site? It's a blog. Click on that. And how would I like to build my WordPress site? Okay, so we got a couple of choices here. We have this limitless customization, WordPress, theme-based uh, site building, customizable code, or we have best WordPress for beginners, fast and easy site building, Bluehost website builder, guide and drag and drop. Um, you know, I know that they're trying to get me to do this, uh, but really I just want to get right into WordPress here. So I'm going to suggest we go along with this, uh, this option right here. So here we go, get started. Okay, let's create a website. All right, what type is it? Uh, for now, we're just going to keep, uh, I'll, t I'll take a quick look, but I think for now, we're just going to keep it as a personal site. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you can choose anything you want here, obviously, and, you know, whatever your niche is, you may want to take a look at these and, and pick something similar. Um, but to keep things simple, I'm just going to pick personal. And who am I creating this site for? Um, I'm creating it for myself, so I'm going to click on that. Continue. Okay, tell us a little bit more about the site. So what do you want to name your site? So there's all sorts of different names. Um, but I'm just going to stick with my blog name. And, you know, that's probably what you should do too. So our blogging. Or was it our example blog? Yes, it was our example blog. Our example blog. And let's see. A blog about blogging. <laughs> okay, continue. Okay, pick a free or a premium theme that inspires you. Uh, we're going to go with a free theme, uh, so I can just, or I can just uh, skip this step. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to skip this step because WordPress gives you uh, themes uh, for free, and WordPress has their own themes. So I don't really want to pick one of these. Um, Bluehost themes and you know not that there's anything wrong with them and if you look through them and you choose to choose one of them that's great no problem at all um, but again I, I happen to like starting off with the WordPress themes themselves so I'm going to go ahead and skip this step all right so here we go welcome click here to set your site title am I really concerned about any of this let's see use these shortcuts to start learning and working on your blog customizing writing okay so now we're kind of getting into this, um, the area where you can kind of go off and do kind of whatever you want. Um, but I think what I'm going to do from here 
is I'm going to go over and log into WordPress. So let's go ahead and do that. Because again, I really just want to get right into WordPress. So I've gone ahead and done that, and uh, let's give it a second here. Okay, so now, now what has happened is um, this is starting to look more familiar to me at least, um, having my own WordPress blog. Uh, what you have over here on the left, this is really the, um, the WordPress dashboard. So just to kind of sum up what's happened so far is uh, obviously we've signed up for Bluehost. Uh, we have hosting because we can see all this here. And Bluehost went ahead and installed WordPress for us. I know that because this is the WordPress dashboard. Um, so that was our main objective here was to go ahead and install uh, WordPress. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of, I don't know, simplify things a little bit. Now again, you know, if, if, if this is you, you can kind of do whatever you want here. Um, but I'm just going to try and keep things simple uh, for myself. So I'm just going to go ahead and dismiss this. So I went ahead and dismissed that. Um, my site's currently displaying a coming soon page. That's great. I can launch my site later. That's fine. Um, they want me to set up uh, website analytics. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm not a big fan of these monster insights um, analytics. So I'm just going to kind of ignore that. Um, first time SEO configuration. So this is, this is with Yoast SEO. And uh, I'm glad to see that they have um, given you the option to use this because Yoast SEO is a great, great SEO plugin that all bloggers really should be using. Um, so I'm glad that they've done that. Uh, however, I'm going to skip the workout for right now because I can always go back to that later. And I'm going to hit the X over here. And then uh, they've installed WP Forms, uh, which is a plugin that um, you can use to create like contact forms and things on your site. Um, I'm going to worry about that later. Uh, so for right now, I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, so here we are. Welcome to WordPress. Uh, so this is kind of some standard uh, WordPress stuff here. Um, so you can go ahead and, and read about all this, or I should say read all this and learn as much as you can about WordPress. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dismiss this. Again, just trying to get things kind of simplified. Um, and as I'm doing this, we're really starting to get into kind of the basic uh, WordPress um, dashboard here and um, this is what you'll end up seeing as you go through your your journey as a blogger um, so I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff like I don't really need to see this Bluehost box um, you can keep it if you want it's totally up to you um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to figure out how to remove this and I think I go to screen options yeah and actually there's a bunch of stuff I can remove so I'm gonna get rid of this Bluehost thing I'm going to get rid of this email marketing by creative email. I actually don't recommend them. I recommend ConvertKit. Um, so we're just going to close this off. Uh, I'm not going to worry about this WP forms for now. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm not going to connect Optin Monster. I'm not going to connect Monster Insights. Uh, site health status is good. Uh, this, this going forward here is, is WordPress stuff. Um, so site health status is good. At a glance is good. Activity is good. Stats by Jetpack, um, I always recommend removing Jetpack just because it's very um, resource intensive and it kind of slows down your site. So let's go ahead and remove uh, Stats by Jetpack. Uh, SEO, uh, Yoast SEO, I am going to keep that in Quick Draft. I don't need that, so I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, WordPress events and news, that's always good to know about, so I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to close this up and uh, Okay, so we are starting to minimize things here, and uh, we're getting close to the end of this video, actually. I really just wanted to um, make sure you saw how to get set up with um, uh, Bluehost and WordPress, uh, but let's just go a little further here and see what else we got. So, um, yeah, let's just kind of move some of this stuff around. We'll put that over here. You can do this. Um, you can move this over here. And as you see, it kind of makes things a little easier to read. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and some of these things are installed as a result of what are called plugins like this opt-in opt monster that I've been trying to get rid of, um, this creative mail, this you know, WP forms um, and some other you know, insights and all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. So to do that I'm going to click go over to plugins and I'm going to click on installed plugins. All right, and plugins are really um, 
kind of like pieces of software that get installed with WordPress um, that uh, add to the functionality. The only problem with them is that a lot of these are very extraneous and you really don't need them and they kind of you know, bog down your site. So let's get rid of some of the ones that, that bog down your site. Okay, um, so Akismet anti-spam is good. That's how you keep uh, spam comments off your blog post. So we're going to leave that. Uh, creative Mail, again, we're going to deactivate this. Um, I'm just going to close this window and deactivate it. Um, okay, very good. So I got rid of that. Now I'm going to just delete it. Okay. So it's going to go ahead and delete that. Um, this Google Analytics for WordPress by Monster Insights. I don't want that. Um, Google Analytics is great, but uh, you can get that right from Google. I don't want it to be all integrated with Monster and all that. Um, so I've gone ahead and um, uh, disabled that, so now I'm just going to delete it. And when I say delete, that means I'm deleting the plugin. Okay, this Hello Dolly thing, uh, I have no idea what it is, but I'm getting rid of it. Okay, Jetpack. All right, so a lot of people love Jetpack. Uh, they think it's great for you know security performance and statistics and tools and all that, but it really, really bogs down your site, and there's other lighter plugins that do a much, much better job. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate this. Yes, I am sure, I am sure, I am sure. Okay, so I went ahead and did that. So now I'm going to delete that, say OK. We're just cleaning up the junk here, folks. <laughs> All right, Optin Monster. We're going to deactivate that. All right, we're going to delete that. Okay, WP Forms Lite, we're going to deactivate that and delete it. So delete this plugin, yes. Okay, we are now down to a nice simplified uh, list of plugins. And uh, so what we can do now is I'm just going to go to my back to my WordPress dashboard home. Um, and that should take a moment to, uh, to take me over there. Okay, and now this is this is kind of like your basic setup, um, which is which is really where we want to be right now. Okay, actually, before we wrap up this video, uh, I do want to show you just a few more things. Uh, specifically, I want to show you how to publish your first blog post, and then uh, I want to show you how to make your site live because right now it has this uh, this coming soon um, thing going on up here. Uh, then after that, I want to show you what your brand new WordPress site uh, will actually look like. And then uh, lastly, I, I want to show you how to create a, a page for your new site. So uh, those are the things I want to show you. So with that said, uh, let's kind of move forward on this. So again, uh, the first thing I want to show you is how to publish your first blog post. So let's go ahead and do that. So in order to do that, we're going to go over here to Posts, and we're going to click on All Posts. So I've gone ahead and done that. And now this is showing you... Uh, the, the, uh, this would be your list of blog posts that have been published. Now, WordPress gives you this Hello World uh, blog post um, just so you have something to look at. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually create our own here. So in order to do that, we're going to go up here where it says Add New, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So I went ahead and clicked on that, and now it's bringing you to uh, what's called the Block Editor in WordPress. And this is the editor where you'll actually uh, create your blog post. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give our blog post a title. So I'm going to type in my first blog post. And that will be the title of our first blog post. Okay, then the next thing it's asking us to do is to type or choose a block. Um, I'm not going to get into the full functionality of the block editor, but if you wanted to add blocks to your post, um, you would click on this and move forward there. I encourage you to, uh, to give this a try on your own and uh, kind of get used to blocks. But for now, we're just going to start typing. So I'm going to say, hello blog visitors. This is the first post on my brand new blog. Glad you're here. Okay, so we're going to keep this simple. This is going to be my very simple uh, first blog post. And the reason why that just popped up was because I had uh, put my cursor over here. Um, I don't really want to see that, so I'm just going to click over here to uh, remove that. Um, 
Okay, so let's go ahead and publish this post. So to do that, you go over here to where it says publish, and I'm going to click on publish. And what it does is it asks you a question, are you ready to publish? Um, and it just lets you know that the visibility will be public, it's going to be published immediately, and then there's some other things you can do here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and publish it because, yes, I'm ready to publish. Okay, it's published. Simple as that. All right, so I would like to view this post. So I'm going to right-click on View Post, and then I'm going to open this link in a new tab. <laughs> and here we go. This is our site, and here is our first blog post. So if somebody were to come to this post, this is exactly what they would see. Here's the title, my first blog post, and uh, here's what we wrote. Uh, Hello, blog visitors. This is the first post, etc. Um, this is when the post occurred. Uh, this is me. And... Uh, we didn't really categorize this post, which is something you can do in WordPress, so it just left it as uncategorized. Okay, so I just want to show you what um, what a blog post looks like, and I'll scroll down a little bit. Um, this is where people can leave comments on your post, uh, so I just wanted to show you that real quick. All right, so we're done with that. I'm going to X out of here, and I'm going to go back to our editor. And since we're done with this, I'm just going to go back to the WordPress dashboard right here. Okay, so I clicked on that, and as you can see, uh, our uh, my first blog post has been added to um, added to the list. Um, so it, there you go. So now we have two blog posts: the one that uh, WordPress gave us, and also the one that we just created ourselves. So quite simply, that is how you publish your first blog post. Okay, so now let's go back to the WordPress dashboard, our our home screen. And as you can see, it says your site is currently displaying a coming soon page. And then once you're ready, you can launch your site. Well, the truth is no one's really going to see your site until you start telling people about it and promoting it. So there's absolutely no harm in launching your site right away. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on this link and we'll see what happens. All right, I clicked on the link and uh, Bluehost has taken over and it says, welcome to your WordPress site. Um, and it just gives you some things you can... Uh, things you can do here. Uh, so as I scroll down, um, uh, it's, it's you know giving you some, some direction and it's certainly good to, to follow this. So you could start by changing up your home page, you could add a contact page, about page, more content, and, and more. So I'm not going to go through all this right now, um, but I would highly suggest that you go ahead and uh, take a look at this. Okay, so uh, Let's see, I'm going to also go up here on this coming soon active and I'm going to click on that. And uh, that's just, okay, so that just brings us back to, to right here. So um, let's go back to home, I'm sorry, the dashboard home. And it's interesting, it still has this uh, coming soon active. So let's try to explore this a little more. Um, I'm going to go back, click on launch your site. And honestly, I would have expected it to just kind of go ahead and, and launch your site. Um, so let's see if we can figure out what's, what's going on here. Um, I'm going to jump over to Settings and uh, see if there's something here. Ah, okay. So it's this Site Controls Coming Soon page is on. So I think what I want to do is I just want to turn this off. And there, I clicked on it and turned it off. Um, so I'm going to assume that that's what we needed to do to, uh, to get rid of the coming soon page. So with that said, I'm just going to scroll down and eh, just make sure there's no other things I need to click on. Um, and then I'm going to go back to home. This time I'm going to go to the Bluehost home just for the heck of it. So I clicked on that and eh, interesting, we still have this uh, coming soon active. Very, very interesting. So uh, I'm unsure why this is still happening. But uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to not worry about this for the moment. And I'm going to move ahead to um, showing you uh, how to create a page on your site. So I'm going to go over to the dashboard in Home. So I'm going to click on Home. Ah, okay. So it went away. So I think what really needed to happen was we had to switch that lever. And honestly, I kind of had a feeling this was going to go away. Um, so again, we, uh, we clicked the lever, switched the lever, and now we're in uh, a live state. So I think before we jump ahead and create a page, I'm just going to show you what, the, what your site is actually going to look like. So to do that, uh, we go over here to where it says our example blog, and then where it says visit site, I'm actually going to right-click, 
and I'm going to open the link in a new page. So I clicked on that, and as you can see, the page um, opened up over here, and this right here is what your uh, brand new WordPress site looks like. Okay, so keep in mind it's using the uh, WordPress theme, uh, the theme that came with WordPress, and because of that, that's why you have this uh, little hummingbird or bird, whatever kind of bird this is, flying around. Um, this is just an image that WordPress put up for you. Um, as you get more into things and choose to change your home page, you can change this image. Uh, I'm not going to get into all that now, but that's you know that's kind of the fun that you get to do with your your brand new site. So, um, so again, this is our home page. Just just so you know, and uh, see this is our example blog. That could also say home uh, because that's what it is. Matter of fact, if I click on it, it's just going to bring us right back to here. Okay, so after this, uh, this header portion of your home page, when you scroll down, you'll see that we have the, the two blog posts um, that, uh, you know, number one that WordPress gave us, and then number two that uh, we just created. And what we can do here is we can go from the home page and actually click on our blog post. So if I was a visitor and I wanted to see what this blog post was all about, I could just click on it. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, I clicked on it, and it brings us to the actual uh, blog post itself. Okay, so that's nice. We've seen this before. Let's go back to the home page. So I'm going to click on that. And here we are back to our home page. So this is what a brand new WordPress uh, site looks at when you looks like when you choose one of the default themes. And uh, again, you can choose whatever theme you want. I encourage you to go look into other themes. There's both free and paid themes. Um, Try whatever you like, and uh, you'll see that things will change when you do that. Okay, so now that you've seen what the, your brand new site will, will look like, let's go back to the dashboard. So I'm going to go here. I'm just going to X this out for now. And let's create a page. So similar to posts, I'm going to go down to pages and go over to all pages. And you can see that uh, WordPress has given us two to go with it. Um, one is this sample page. And then another one, which is currently in a draft state, so this hasn't been published yet, um, is a privacy policy. And I would strongly suggest you take time to look into this privacy policy. And once you go into it, you'll see that you can customize it to be the way that you want. Um, so I'm not going to go through all that now, but just know that this is something you definitely want to look into um, in the uh, beginning stages. So well, let's create a new page. So I'm going to go to Pages, Add New. So here I'm going to go click on this. All right, I went ahead and clicked on that. And very much like a post, a blog post, a page is very similar. So I can add my title. And I'm going to say um, my first page on my new blog. And we've seen this before. I'm going to come down here. Uh, this is a simple page that I just created for my new blog. Now before I go and publish this, um, I'll just mention that you know, pages is where you would create things like your, your about page, um, a contact page, or um, you know, any other kind of page that you want to have on your blog. Um, so I just wanted you to be aware of that. Uh, so here we go, we have our first page, we've got the text. I'm going to go ahead and publish this page. Click on Publish. Are you ready? Yes. Click on Publish. Clicked on Publish. Or Publish. Yeah. Clicked on Publish. And then it published it. <laughs> so let's view the page. Right click. Open link in new tab. Go to the link. And here it is. So this is my first page on my new blog. And uh, you can see the text that, I, that we just typed in here. So this is a simple page that I just created for my new blog. And uh, again, you can make whatever kind of page you want. Now, um, you'll notice that uh, it, the page title has also appeared up here. And uh, the page that, or the, should say the sample page that WordPress gave us, appears up here. So what's happening here is WordPress is starting to create a menu of pages. So I encourage you to look into that more. Um, just for the heck of it, let's go back to our home page. So I'm going to click up here. All right, so I've done that, and uh, as you can see again, here's the header, uh, there's your list of blog posts, and the sample page, and here's your, your first page, the one that we uh, just created. 
So that is how you create a, uh, a new page. Okay, let's go back to the WordPress dashboard. Um, so to do that, first we clicked over to the, uh, the uh, page we just created. Again, this is the block editor. And I'm going to click on the W to take us back to the WordPress um, dashboard. Okay, and so here we are in our pages list. You can see all the pages. Here's the one that we just created. Um, and I think that's getting close now to wrapping up this video. So I'm going to go back to the, uh, the home page uh, of the WordPress dashboard. And just to, I'll run through these really, really quick. Um, I encourage you to explore all these on your own. It's kind of half the fun. Um, updates, uh, this is, I'm going to click on this. This is when uh, WordPress updates their version, or if any of the plugins update their version. You'll see a little number one or two or whatever here, and this is where you can do that. Okay, we've already seen posts. Let's go to media. So I click once on that. And if you want to add pictures to your posts or your pages, uh, this is where they get stored in this media library. So as you start adding pictures, you'll see them listed here. Okay, so we already covered pages. Uh, let's go to comments. So um, when you uh, start getting comments from uh, the public on your uh, posts, uh, this is where they're going to end up. So uh, WordPress gave us a uh, kind of a fake one for right now. So this is a, a comment that somebody posted um, on the, the Hello uh, World post. So I'd imagine we could probably take a look at this post. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And uh, here it is. So this was the Hello World post that uh, WordPress gave us. And if we scroll down, you can see this comment. One response to Hello World. It's a fake commenter. Or actually, it's just WordPress. Um, and you know this is their comment right here. So just wanted to see that real quick. All right, so let's go back to our comments um, page and keep things clean. I'm just going to um, get rid of this and get rid of that. Moving on, uh, appearance. So when you click on appearance, this is where you get to do things like change your theme. Um, there's a brand new editor that, frankly, I haven't really looked into um, all that much with WordPress. That's where you, so this is where you'd find that. If you want to customize your, um, your website, I just clicked on that. Um, you can actually make some changes um, right here uh, through this customizer. Um, I tend to only use this for a few things. Um, basically, it's for things like your homepage settings, um, when I do use Yoast SEO, sometimes I look at things here, um, but most times I'm just not using this. Okay, and then if you want to um, look for some uh, premium themes, you can look for that here. Um, plugins we covered before. Uh, users, I'll just click on that real quick. So this is me. Um, you can uh, you can add add users who can uh, do things uh, on your site. Uh, this is where you would do that, or if you want to change your username, you can do that that here. Okay, here's a general uh, profile. So this is the WordPress profile. So right now, I, for example, for the color scheme, I have the default. I could change it to be this light color. I can change it to be a more modern color. Um, there's blue. There's sunrise. Um, I usually go with the default just because that's what I'm used to. Um, so this is where you can change kind of the profile of your um, of your uh, WordPress. Okay, moving on, we have tools. So there's all kinds of tools here. There's, you can import, export, you can check on your site health. I just clicked on that. Um, site health is kind of interesting. It's fairly new uh, that, that WordPress has, um, has added to the, uh, the dashboard. Um, and it's interesting, we're still kind of spinning along here. Um, it, it's new, it's kind of, it's not really in beta, but it's just not really all that mature yet. Um, that's probably why this is just kind of sitting there. So anyway, there's other things you can do. You can export personal data. You can erase personal data. If you want to um, uh, get into the uh, your theme files and edit those, uh, like if you know coding, for example, you can do that here. Same thing with the plugin. Um, I'm going to click on settings just to show you some more things. Um, so you have some general settings, and I encourage you to go through all these. You'll see things like your, your site title and your tagline. Um, and there's more. Um, information about, I uh, just clicked on that. Um, some settings for when you're writing your posts. And actually, I'm not going to go through all these, but there's settings for when you're reading your post. There's settings for comments. That's what discussion is. You got some media settings, some permalink settings. 
And actually, I'm going to show you this one. This is really important. So I'm going to click on permalinks. And unfortunately, um, WordPress gives you this, this plain setting. You definitely don't want to use this one. Um, the standard that uh, everybody follows is the post name standard for permalinks. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And so what that'll do is that your, your posts and your pages will look like this instead of this P equals number. Um, really not user friendly. So again, change this to post name, very important. And I'll do a save changes here. Okay, and then there's some information about um, managing the privacy. And then um, this is the uh, Yoast SEO plugin, uh, the one that we left, the one that I really like. So I'm going to suggest that you um, take a close look at this uh, once you get started and uh, just kind of go through this and get to know, um, get to know this, this plugin. Um, you'll learn quite a bit about SEO and many other things. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, I know this video has been quite long, but I did want to cover uh, just a few more things before um, I wrapped up the video. But with that said, that's going to do it. Uh, I hope you enjoy your brand new blog. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much.